Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So when it comes to shooting self-portraits, I would say the tricky thing about it is that not only can you not see your framing, but you also can't check if you're in focus or not, which can make shooting self-portraits really difficult because essentially you'll be shooting blind. So one really simple thing that helps me out with this entire process is just connecting my smartphone to my camera. Connecting my phone to my Sony a7 III actually allows me to check my framing and to adjust my focus. Not only that, but I can also release my shutter button from my phone. Connecting my phone has made this entire process of shooting self-portraits so much more easier and actually enjoyable. I don't have to constantly run back and forth hitting the shutter button anymore. I can just check my framing and adjust my focus all from my phone at a distance. So now that we know how to check our framing and our focus, one more thing that I really recommend is having a tripod. Having a tripod will make this entire process so much more easier and is essentially what's gonna be holding up your camera and framing for you. Now you could use the old book stacking method or the pillow stacking method, but Nothing quite beats a tripod. Last thing to do now is to set your camera to a self timer. Once you have all those, a self timer, a tripod, and your camera connect to your phone, um, I think it's time to shoot some self portraits. Okay, so for my first shoots, I'm gonna use my window inside my room. Uh, it has really nice lighting from the outdoor. So I'm basically just gonna try to stand by the blinds and try to get like a tight portrait shot of me just looking out. Um, I have my Sony a7 III set up over here and I have the 55mm f1.8 with it and I have connected my smartphone to my camera so I'll be able to hit the shutter and uh, adjust my framing and focusing. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can get a decent photo. All right, so I think I managed to get some decent photos right there. Having a cell phone connected to your camera really makes a big difference. Like it made it so easy for me to shoot my own self portrait because I had control of autofocus and I had control of my framing. So that really made a huge difference. Okay, so I have a really cool idea. I found a mirror outside of my living room. I'm thinking about trying to use it as some sort of reflection. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of experimenting. So let's just try to figure out what we can do. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so probably not my favorite photo I've ever taken, but I think it was okay, eh? Okay, so now I have a new idea. I'm gonna try shooting out on my balcony right here. Uh, hold on, let me just, let's go ahead, do that. I'm gonna sit right over here on the ground, and I'm gonna try to use these leading lines over here to try to lead up to this composition. Um, hopefully it looks cool, let's try it out. I have no idea what it'll look like, but it's worth giving it a shot. All right, so just a quick update. I felt like I got some decent photos. I really liked the shadows that the bars were casting on my face. Uh, but at the same time, like, I've never really like actually modeled or anything like that. So it's kind of challenging to find your good pose. And yeah, this kind of really makes me appreciate having a model so I could shoot that model, especially a experienced model that knows what they're doing. And uh, also makes me appreciate just having other people around to help you shoot photos because this is like a lot of work still. This is a ton of work. All right, so I think that's gonna be enough shooting for me today. I think I got at least one decent photo. So with this video, I really wanted to encourage you guys to stay creative and also to remind you guys that you can still get some decent photos even if you are at home all alone. Now it's time to thank our sponsor for today, Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. 
With Squarespace's award-winning templates, making an aesthetically pleasing website all by yourself has never been this easy. And for content creators, videographers, photographers like myself and you guys, having an online portfolio is extremely important to showcase some of your best work so that way you can land more jobs. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash hembu to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So if you guys do decide to take some self-portraits, I really hope this video makes the entire process a little bit more easier and enjoyable. If you guys do want to see more photography and filmmaking related content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to also drop a like, that would really mean a lot. Make sure to find me on Instagram as well for more of my photography. Thank you so much once again for all your time and attention. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll reply to all of your guys' comments. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.